Alrighty there, so we're gonna keep on with our theme of utility apps for the day. And you know what? You guys are working so hard, sometimes you just gotta relax. So we're gonna actually look at something that is called ACBR Comic Reader. And with that, we're going to, uh, where do we go? We're gonna be able to go ahead and read the stuff that we want to read, okay? Uh, this is going to load all of your comic books that you have bought online that you're able to uh, then go. Usually when you buy stuff online, it comes in a different format that you can run on your computer. And this is going to do just that. So very cool little, um, little app. We're going to go over all of the different things that you can do to make it work. But before we do that, please do like the channel and share it with people around put it on your facebook put it on your 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 ex your twitter you know whatever because it really does help the more people that get involved with the community the better it is for us all because more cool stuff like this goes on so i'm going to show you how to get this downloaded really easy this is open source free stuff and uh and it's good it's fun this is this is the stuff we live for okay so you guys hang in there we'll be right back after this, yo! Okay, so we are ready to go ahead and install this, uh, get this going. Such an easy thing. It Really, they've uh, brought it into its own self-extracting zip. There actually is no real install uh, other than just downloading the files, or, or you know, which is really cool. So the easiest way is if you're already a member at patreon.com, um, my Patreon site, you can just go over here and we've got it up here for the, for all members, prairie dogs, farmhand, whatever. Uh, you can grab this, uh, thing and all you gotta do is just click it and save it and then run it. <laughs> okay. So real, real easy peasy. Okay. That's the easy way. Now the other way is a little bit more involved, but it's still not difficult at all. Is just go to your Google and type ACBR comics, GitHub, and then you bap it. Okay. Now it's going to bring up this one. that says binary nonsense slash comic book reader ACBR. So we're going to click it like that. Okay and it will pop up to the github repo now you don't need to download any of this okay again we've talked about this uh sometimes we get in here and we're like well i don't know what to do oh let's just download the code you don't need to download the code the only reason you would download this is if you're actually going to change it and um, alter the application itself so we're not going to do that because down here it has the actual exe again uh, a, a key way to handle these repos is when you get there, um, read the instructions, the installation. So don't just go and just, well, I guess you just gotta grab stuff. Read what it wants you to do, because sometimes it wants you to download the repo and other times it doesn't, okay? So like this one, if you just go read it, you'll realize you don't need it. All right, but anyway, heading back to the browser, uh, you notice it is this BSD2 clause license. This is open source, which just means that uh, this one just means that if you are going to change the actual code with the app that you send, you need to send the code as well. So in other words, it's open source and it has to remain open source. You cannot take the software and then hide, change it and then hide away the code. Okay. So that's what this is. But otherwise, um, you can use it for whatever you want and it is as is. So, um, so very cool. Okay, redistribution and use in source and binary form with or without modification are permitted. All right. So there you go. Now, uh, good old open source, which is what we like. So we're going to scroll down here. You can see it says downloads. You can click it, but you can just scroll through here. Um, you can look through the features. So obviously it's going to open CBZ file, CBR, which is one of the most common the CB7, it can even open PDFs and EPUBs. Now, basically, the CBZ, CBRs and stuff, they're just glorified zip files. So, like, uh, if you open them up, they're just images, you know, one, image one, image two, image three. And in fact, uh, uh, you can you used to be able to do this. I'm certain it's still the same. You can just create your own zip file with images that are numbered, that are sequenced, and then change the extension to CBR. Yo, and then you got a CBR file. Anyway. We go on to scroll on down here and grab this Windows self-extracting one. Okay, that's just the easiest way to do. That's 
also the one that's available over here for the easy download for the members. Okay, so you just click it, and then you want to choose a uh, um, you want to choose a location to download it to. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's click here. Where are we at here? There we go. Okay, so you can see it's got the exe here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our messy view here, just so you can see it's a little bit easier. Um, real simple. All we're going to do is just click this, okay? And it's just going to download stuff. It's not installing anything into your system, which is beautiful, okay? It's just downloading it. Okay, so we can press enter to restart. Oh, it says, uh, okay, control D to close this out. Why are you not closing out? Okay, there we go. So now um, we can just click ACBR. Now inside here, you're going to see there's the actual EXE. So if you grab this and drag it over your desktop and hit control and shift, you'll see that it creates a link in your desktop. Okay. So that's a shortcut. Notice if I just, if I take my hand off the keyboard, it's going to copy it. We don't want that because it won't work. If you just copy it, it's copying the EXE, but it needs all of these other files. So instead what we do is we go control and shift and it creates a link. Okay. I've already got one up here. Okay, so then all you got to do is you can, from in here, click it, or out here, click it. Okay, and there you go. So now that loads up to whatever you have in there. Now, obviously, yours is going to be um, a little bit different because it'll uh, you won't have anything loaded at the beginning. Okay, so here's a PDF that I loaded up um, as well. So you can use it for this. Use it your desktop gaming thing. Now, obviously, you need to be using things that you own or that you're not going to get in trouble for using. So uh, if you do need help with that, you can hit me up and I will assist you in finding the things that you want to read um, in the best manner possible. So let's just show you a few th uh, key elements here of how this works. So obviously we have our file open here. Let me see if that shows up on here when I click. Yeah, it does. Okay. So obviously you click file open and then you're going to go find your file that you want to grab. Now, when we get into this thing, uh, you'll notice down here, there's some buttons. Now down here, you'll see this yellow here. This is how much of the uh, comic has loaded. Okay. So obviously if we go to the left here, it's going to um, start there. And then now we can use these arrows to start moving our way through. Well, uh, you've got this thing here little slide arrow here. If we click this, set right to left, it actually goes backwards. Notice that the yellow has pasted over here, and so now you can go right to left. So um, I guess this is more for if you are um, in a country that reads right to left. But in, you know, here I read left to right. So I'm going to go like that. Now notice also here we're not getting the full picture. So it's kind of nice to... Um, when it's like this because you can see a little bit better i can actually hold the control button down and i can zoom in so i can really look at it but sometimes i want to see the whole picture so you got this back and forth button here what i can do notice it changes orientations so here i want to see the whole thing so now and then maybe i just want to zoom back again to seeing what i've got there okay um now let's say i zoom forward Okay, and here again, oh, that's a pretty cool picture. All right, um, and I scoot forward. And let's say I get into the comic, okay? And again, I want to zoom in a bit. So let's go ahead and hit this. Oh, okay, look at that. I can actually look a little bit closer. I can use my mouse to scroll up and down. But then again, maybe I just want to read it, okay? So I can just hit that button. And there we go. Sometimes you get images uh, in a comic book that are uh, um, different orientations, so you can actually turn it around like this. Perhaps you have a tablet, right? Um, I used to have a laptop that would flip back into a tablet. Oh, such a cool computer. Um, and so then I could actually flip it up like this. Well, for that case, I would use the rotation button, which is part of that, okay? Let's open up a... Uh, Another another one here. Get off this vampire stuff here. Um, <laughs> some other Batman 
Batman weirdness here. Okay. Oh, here's another great example. You know, when you got the, your double size here, so you can uh, use this thing here to really make sure that you can get it however you need to see it. But, all right, let's look at a few of the other features here. So, um, okay, so we've got our file. Now we've got a convert, okay? So we can actually convert our files into a PDF if we want to. So this is in a CBZ. Convert it into PDF. Maybe I just need a document, right? Um, that I want to do something with, or I need to put an EPUB so I can read it on my Kindle or whatever, you know. Um, so you're able to do that really easily here, okay? Um, so again, you can change the image formats. JPG is a compressed file, so um, PN, well, while PNG and WP and this stuff are uh, lossless formats, which means that you get an image and it can be really big size. I mean, like about like five megabytes per image or 10, you convert it down to JPG, it suddenly goes to less than a megabyte. So maybe you need, uh, you're like, oh, I got this comic book that I bought and it's, uh, it's too big. And so um, I want to convert it into something that I can run on my phone or something like that. It won't take up space. You can convert your images there and you can click the change. Okay. Um, so you can play around with the advanced options. I haven't really played around with this, but obviously you can split this into different files. Um, looks like you can create your own PDFs, uh, your own comic book readers out of this. Look at, so uh, if you're, I don't know why you would need this, but like say uh, you just want to really, maybe again, it's on a phone or something like that. You really want to shrink it down. You can crunch the quality of the image that you're using. But uh, let's get out of this click this back to reader. Okay, so we've got our view, we've got different uh, layouts up here, your page direction, that's what this button down here was your left to right. Um, so if you want to get rid of some of this stuff, you can look at it added a clock, there. <laughs> you can see how, how long you've been reading for. Um, so sometimes like when I read stuff, I want to get rid of everything. Okay, because I really don't want to, uh, I don't really want stuff taking up space. So there we got a battery to show if your battery is getting low. Okay. Um, so you can just undo this stuff and it will, uh, just make it as clean as you want it to be. Okay. There's obviously your rotation. You can go to page just by clicking here. Um, toggle your full screen. Let's just, now if I click, this is going to, I'm not going to click it cause it's going to make the picture go out of crazy over here. But again, here's your tools. There's your convert. We already talked about that. There's your creates. So you can actually create your own comic book. If you got your own images, um, throw them in here and it's going to do the thing for you. Okay. Look at, you can extract pages for your comic book. So maybe you're doing a podcast thing like this or, and you want to talk about one particular image in there. You can do that. Okay. Um, look, it's got a text from image. So you can, um, Again, maybe you're doing fan fiction and you just want to get the text and copy it in there or whatever. Okay, so this really is a full, um, a full-fledged solution. Okay, you can play around with the others here and it looks like it's got different places that you can get um, different stuff to look at. But this is really a full-fledged solution. Again, you know, um, you could use this for your tabletop stuff. So I've got like, uh, where is this at over here? Uh, again... So if you're sitting there um, and you're DMing, well, heck, you've got this. You can just pop up your stuff and you could be looking at your things right here. Really easy software. I always, I have a soft spot for comic book readers just because uh, I come from the era when this was high technology. And the truth is, um, it's still high technology. We just, I think people forget kind of about some of this stuff. Like it's really cool. And then we kind of move on and, and, um, and then we just come back to it and we go, Oh, that's right. These are necessary. They're so cool. Uh, this is free. It's got every thing that you could want it to do. And it works easy again, man. I used to have one of these uh, Samsung galaxy tabs. Oh, it was so cool. I mean, that was back in the day. If you remember those, so cool. And I used to just sit back and read my comic books on that. Um, you know, I wish I had more time to read comic books, but um, I got other stuff to do, but uh, it's good to sit back every now and again and relax. And this is a great software to do that. So, all right, I think we're going to leave it there. Again, you can get it over at the, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> there we go. You can get it over at the Patreon site here. It's just a free ease of use for, uh, 
for members or you just go over and find it in the GitHub and grab the self-extracting EXE. Easy peasy, extra squeezy. Enjoy yourself. And again, if you uh, need help finding your legit comics, let me know. I'll uh, be happy to do that. And yeah. uh, if you have any questions, hit me up as usual. And you stay good. Yo!